All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new custom made mission over here. So, this is going to be, uh, I think, I, I believe this is probably the third one that we have, right? So, let me, I'm just going to go over it real quick with you guys once again. So, obviously, the main purpose of doing the custom made mission over here is definitely for the achievement over here. So, wait, what? 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 Uh, hello? <laughs> Where? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What? where are the rest of them <laughs> hello am i seeing things um it should be this one right oh my god like where, where, where's that so obviously you know the purpose of doing the custom made mission is definitely trying to get all these uh, rewards of you so i'm gonna be getting some up here gunplug fragments right there obviously and then uh some more of these awakening circuits definitely not bad overall some of these attributes gears so that's pretty good on your build project material so in terms of this additional bit you are going to be able to get 32 of your gunplay you know fragments and then three of your build project material so definitely try to do all of it so the maximum points that you really need is only going to be a hundred thousand so that is a pretty much easy to obtain i will have to say um i want to see like i i wonder if let's say i don't make the actual mission for example if i just play my um whatever is on the list right I just want to see that will actually allow me to get the points so you know like if you guys don't have like the best build for example i don't think that is anything of big concern i would say so we're gonna actually, before i actually go into the build i'm actually gonna play it first this time around so just want to see if we can actually hit it so oh wow this one yeah this one if i clear this one for example i think we should be able to get the rewards so let me clear this one for example and I just want to test if that actually works. So I'm going to do, use my uh, regular, you know, three and three build over here uh, because this one does contain two axle drop, two rolling buster, and then I think that I, I think that should be pretty much it. And uh, obviously one one uh, buffer at the end. So um, wow, this person actually took the time to actually build um, P attribute, a neutral typing, and then a T attribute. So okay, all right. Let me do hop in now and see. If this one has anything of a difficulty. Alright, so we are in. So I'm just gonna use rolling busters so things are whips, just not trying to take any chances. So are they gonna hit? Ooh, yeah, they're they're definitely pretty much a uh, not even take it all. Like yeah, look at that. Activate these I guess. So this is gonna be the third way. Alright. Oh rolling buster, nice. Alright, I'm gonna do the actual drop, I think that should be it. Yeah, they're not even executing any EX skill. That's a surprise, I would have to say. Alright, drop that real quick. <laughs> How much damage is that? That is like, oh my god, that's a lot of damage right there. Alright, I'll, I'll definitely take that. So, I think, I think right now that we clear this one, we should be able to get the points right. Let me see, so we're gonna hit next right now. Gonna go back to check my page. And then I think we should be able to clear the event. So let's say you don't want to do it, for example, just for uh, whatever reason, you don't feel like you want to build your own. You can just kind of play the highest one of the rankings and then you guys should be pretty much good to go. Um, so let me go back to my page. And then if we click um, after this low, so I think a lot of people are playing at this point in time. So, oh yeah, yep, right there. Bam, look at that. So optimize, if you don't want to optimally do your own build, for example, it's play someone's build that has like, you know, over a hundred thousand points, like that one cleared it and then we are pretty much good. So I guess we're just going to clear this right now, but you know what, for, for the video bit, I'm definitely going to be trying to build my own build. Um, pretty much going to be, oh, you, I mean, if you do clear, for example, if you do make your own mission, you can get this one, which I don't think is like the biggest thing on the roster. So we are definitely going to be going over the process doing it once again. So I'm going to click on this one. Let me find the rankings. Last time I did it. Okay. Not bad. So last time I actually did it with like the rankings and the last. So that's kind of cool. So um, I guess I'll just do another one then. Why not? And then you guys can uh, definitely you know um play membership as well so what are we gonna do we are gonna unshare it first definitely so make sure to change the name and definitely try to change the name and share it and then um i, I think this time around the title was actually short i don't so i don't think you need to do anything but just to be on a safe side i'll actually change it to the same thing i did for last time around uh what did i change it the last time around um i put what did i even put i'm just gonna put uh 
BP for build project um, 002 for the <laughs> numerical number. I think that's it. Um, in terms of what I want to do, I will actually change it to a different map. Uh, let's actually use the Luna City, why not? Just want to do a little bit of a new stuff. I think in terms of the overall build, uh, I'll actually change the game because I do want to replace the skin. And then what I would build first, I will ash. What? Why, why are they all the same? Um, so I guess I will actually, come on, man. Let me, let me reset everything. <laughs> Make it easier because I, I need to rebuild the whole build. I think, I think that's what I will need to do eventually, right? Gonna do this zero, zero, two. All right. And then we'll change it to snow. I don't know what, I'll actually use snow area because uh, that's pretty much a wide map as well. But in terms of overall build, I think I did save it last time in the low L. So I'll actually just grab it just to see if I need to make any adjustment in terms of the overall combat power. So last time around, I used this build. So uh, this one is pretty much like quote unquote like the best build that I have currently. So um, I guess that is uh, what we will be using, right? Uh, I, I think, right? Let me, let me check. I feel like I have better parts now, I think, I don't know. Which one is that? Uh, no, this one is not even that good. Hmm. I was trying to use this new wing zero. What would that one sit at? Is it this one? Oh, I think it's this one. So I can actually use this one for example, and then do it up, whoops, wrong one. Let me see if that will have a higher comet power. Oh yeah, it did, it did. We got a higher digit and I think that's it, right? I don't think I can replace anything else. All right, not bad. So we had, we jumped up by like, what, 30,000? Uh, 30, that's not too bad, right? Um, I think all the other stuff are pretty much the same. Um, yeah, this one is pretty much going to be the same. All right, I don't think I can change anything else. So um, what I'm going to do, I, I'll actually need to redo the whole skin and then I'll uh, copy and paste everything to all the other slots and then that should be pretty much it. And then in terms of the final build, I'll actually need to put some multiplier like this week's multiplier. Uh, I think so that should be pretty much it. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got the build over here. So let's kind of take a look at the build that I went for this week. So this week around, I guess the theme I'm trying to go for like a kind of like a cross zone X1 kind of build over here. So instead of actually using like the full X1 build over here, I went for like a dark H2 dark hell kind of eccentric build over here as well. Uh, I think this one does kind of fit perfectly as well. Uh, they kind of touch it up with like a lighter tone than you do traditional like a darker shade of color over here i think it turns out pretty good overall and then in terms of the backpack i went ahead and used the phantom gun the backpack i think this one looks pretty good overall as well um good synergy in terms of part wise over here in terms of ex skill there are going to be level 10 are definitely going to be the flash eyes this one is going to be from h2 dark count so uh, we got the Ash Flanks over here, that is going to be from your Austria Lake over here. And then last but not least, we got the Royal Heart, that is going to be from your Hakashiki's Beam Rifle, uh, Beam uh, Saber over there. So overall, not too bad. Uh, hopefully, you guys shouldn't have too much problem facing on this build. Maybe the setting will be a problem, but in terms of the other two EX skill, I don't think they are going to be anything of a problematic. So um, I actually, this is actually my second time recording it because I went, the first time when I recorded it, I actually turned on my mic. So, uh, so we already... Uh, do have published already and then got the full points. So uh, let me do quickly go over this build as well. So this is going to be the event multiplier build right here. So you guys can see that I have all five of them over here. So going to be getting a 500% boosting or just a 500 points boosting right there. So if we go over to the publishing over here, not test run. We don't want to test run it. No, go back. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't want to test run it. So in terms of sharing it, so this is going to be the points that I'll be accumulating if, uh, since I'm forging it. And then if you guys are going to be playing my mission, the 93,000 is definitely going to be something you guys should be getting. So this by clicking my mission alone, you guys should be able to kind of get everything from the achievement overall. So uh, if you guys are planning not to build something, for example, you can definitely fight someone like myself. Or you can play someone else that has accumulated over a hundred thousand points, and then you guys should be pretty much set to go. So let me just gonna share it once again. Um, yeah, the last recording did, didn't have my audio, so kind of kind of upset about that. So since I'm republishing it, I don't think any of the other points shouldn't change at all, right? 
Uh, let's see. Still taking a while for whatever reason. All right. So after quite some time, I decided to finish the sharing over here. So 93,000 over here. Not too bad. Uh, this is going to be under this. Uh, what is it? The Snowfield Arena over here. So um, good luck to everyone that is going to be playing my mission. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too challenging. Uh, those the skills shouldn't hit that hard, I will have to say. So uh, pretty much clear everything. So in terms of the total creation points, I have racked it up to 1.1 million. So that is going to be pretty much it in terms of just uh, beating this over here. Um, I would just say do it once over here and then just kind of wait for the next badge of it. Because in terms of what people are planning to do, uh, everyone is trying to clear as much as they can, for example, play different people's build whatsoever. But I don't really see a point in doing that because in terms of the ranking rewards, uh, I don't see like a big margin of difference, for example. So that's why I don't really mind like oh doing it, oh, like doing it versus not doing it per se. So that is going to be pretty much it in terms of this uh, iteration of the custom made mission over here. So uh, good luck to everyone building this over here and then I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.